Hello there, I'm Steve from Mac84, and this quick video will tell you how to get your Exer RAID admin app running on macOS El Capitan and macOS Mojave. If you have an Xserve with an Xserve RAID and are running a newer version of the macOS, you'll find that the RAID admin app simply won't run. I want to share a quick trick that I found to get this working. Full credit goes to the forum posts on MacRumors and Apple's communities where I found this online, and I'll link to those in the video description. However, I thought a video tutorial here would be very helpful. So, let's get right into it. First things first, you need to make sure you have Java installed, or you'll get a message like this when we're done with this tutorial. Java SE 6 runtime is not installed in most versions of the macOS. So go to Apple's website, a link will be in the video description, and download this Java 2017 release and install it on your Mac. Once you have this version of Java installed, you can continue with the next step. Now that we have Java installed, we need to download the Xserve RAID Admin Tools version 1.5.1. I find that the download button at the top of the screen works best. Again, a link to this file is in the video description. Open the downloaded DMG file to mount the installer. If you simply double click on this PKG file, you may get an error about it being from an unidentified developer. To get around this quickly, simply right click or control click on the file and select open. When the prompt appears again, select Open. Continue with the installation as you would normally. When this completes, you'll have a new folder in your Utilities folder, which is located under your Applications folder, called Xserve RAID Update. If you try and open the RAID admin app right away, you'll get a message that it is not supported on this type of Mac. To resolve this problem, we'll need to replace some of the RAID admin application files with those from our recent Java SE 6 installation. First, open up the Xserve RAID update folder. Right click on the RAID admin app and select Show Package Contents. Expand or open the Contents folder and move this window to the side. Now open your startup volume and open up the System folder. Inside of System, you want to open up Library. Now select Frameworks and open that folder. Scroll down until you see Java VM Framework. It may look like a file, but double click on it and this opens a folder. Now select versions and expand that, followed by the A folder. Open up resources and find Mac OS. Open that up and inside you'll find the Java application stub file. This Java application file is the one that we need to copy into our RAID admin app. In the RAID admin app window, open up Mac OS and you'll see a RAID admin file. We'll need to replace this with the Java application file, but it has to be renamed. So I'm copying the RAID admin name, then I'm going to trash this RAID admin file. I'm going to hold down Option on my keyboard and drag over the Java application stub file to the macOS folder. And then I'm going to rename it RAID space admin. Here's where things differ depending on the OS version you have installed. For example, if you have macOS El Capitan, all you have to do is double click on the RAID admin app and you'll be greeted with this license agreement page, and once you select Agree, the application will open successfully. In some rare cases, the app may still refuse to open. You could open it manually by showing package contents on the RAID admin app, navigating to Contents, Mac OS, and opening up the RAID admin executable. You can make an alias of this file on your desktop or drag it to the dock to make it easier to access in the future. However, on macOS Mojave, you have to take one more step in order for the application to work. If you double click on it as is, it will bounce the dock and you will get that license agreement page. However, it'll be blank and there's seemingly no way to continue. To resolve this, right click on the RAID admin app and select show package contents. Open the contents folder and open the resources folder. Inside of that, open up the Java folder. We'll use this file to open the application. So let's copy it to make it easier for us to do that. Hold down Option on your keyboard and drag it somewhere else. I'm going to drag it into the Xserve RAID update folder. This has made a copy of that file in that folder. Now double click on the RAID admin.jar file. The software license agreement page will now display successfully. Select Agree to continue and the application will display as it should. The name of the application in the top left looks a bit wonky, but at least it works. Now I did try similar efforts to get this application running on macOS Monterey on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac Studio. However, that didn't work out. It's giving me some errors and I'm not smart enough to overcome this. However, if you figure it out, let me know. It seems that if you open the .jar file, the application opens, but you can't seemingly connect or do anything with it. I even tried installing a newer version of the Java runtime, but that didn't work either. 
But that's about it. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you get your XServe RAID admin app working on later versions of the macOS. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, or leaving a nice comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you right here next time on Mac84.